what are you going to have? Uh, I think I would get um, dumplings. All right, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Hot and sour, sour soup. soup. That's what okay. I was going to have. Okay. Nice bowl of soup on a cold day. There you go. You actually first met at a meal like this in 1987. And it's, okay. and it's like January. And George Miller, who was my roommate, my landlord, he said, there's a new person joining our group. Her name is Nancy Pelosi. She's the new Congress member from San Francisco. And she, he, before I met her, she will become the first woman speaker. That's what he said. God's <laughs> honest truth. He was right. But what was interesting well, about it. She didn't it, know was right. <laughs> well, you but, really knew the first time you Well, met. I knew she would really be a force. <laughs> Whatever that might be. Yeah, would you like to put some appetizers? So I'll have an order of shrimp dumplings. Okay. And then I'll have some string beans. Talk to me about your, your relationship. The two of you finish each other's sentences. You're on the phone constantly. Four, four five, one, five, seven, three, zero, oh, and I'm not going to say the list. No, four, please. <laughs> you you know everybody's phone number. My person, I probably dial hers more than just about anyone other than people in my family. Well, here's the thing. I, I say this all the time. He has a what do you call that phone? Flip phone. A flip phone. If he had a regular smartphone we could reduce the number of conversations because I could just text him. How would you describe your relationship? You're called the power couple, you're called an odd couple. Yeah, you're we're friends. close friends. It's you're almost friends. like brother and sister. Living. That's right. When you disagree, who wins? Usually her. No, no. When we disagree, then we end the conversation yeah. and we know we're going to come we back. We had a pretty tough one a week ago, right? What was it, what was was it about? I don't even remember. I don't remember what it was, but it was, was. shall we say, candid. Candid, yes. <laughs> I want to talk about how the two of you navigated working with former President Trump. Because... Um, <laughs> we had a good time. <laughs> he, he famously nicknamed the two of you Chuck and Nancy, right? It was always Chuck and Nancy. I think you both knew that Speaker Pelosi got under his skin. Right. right? Yes. Was there a strategy when you went into a meeting? Was there a good cop, bad cop? He's just inaugurated. This is an historic moment. The President of the United States. So I'm thinking, how is he going to begin? Is he going to quote the Constitution, American history, poet, the Bible? You know I won the popular vote. That's how he started. Then I said, Mr. President, that's just not true. We sort of set him up instinctively. We didn't plan this. Everyone thought we planned it out. It was about the government shutdown the first time. And Nancy said something to him about he didn't understand, about women. So, uh, what? Chuck was masterful. Well, he was masterful. She set him up so I could go in for the kill. No, but he was masterful. He's talking to him about the government shutdown and about the um, immigrants and the rest. And he says, I'll take ownership of yeah, the I shutdown. I said, so, Mr. President, you'll own, will you own the shutdown? Yes, I will. And that was, oh, thank you very much. There are a series of moments that you saw firsthand. There's the clap, there's tearing up the speech, and then there is the famous picture. It's the meeting in the cabinet room where you stood up and, uh, and confronted. Looking back at those moments, what was going through said, your mind? He said he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what he's up against. I tell people, Nancy instinctively knew how to handle Trump because for her first, you know, 35, 40 years of life, she raised five children mm -hmm. and she knew how to deal with children. <laughs> and that's what helped her deal with Trump because he ultimately was a child. We had a different approach. Chuck is a New Yorker. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. So they spoke their own kind of, they understood each other. January 6th, there is extraordinary footage of the two of you being evacuated. Um, what was it like that day? It was horrible. I mean, it was a horrible <coughs> time. And um, it's frightening. 
People are invading the Capitol. We were both worried that our own members, the senators in my Senate, the people in her house, what was happening to them because they whisked us off to this other place. For a while, cell phone service didn't happen, and it was just frightening. Did you try to reach out to the president himself? Yes, they wouldn't put him on. Uh, the attorney general, the acting, I think he was acting attorney general, he wouldn't put him on. He wouldn't take your calls? president wouldn't, that's correct. I think you see in some of the film how firm Chuck was with, when we're calling the governors, the mayors, the secretary, and and we were talking to the Secretary of the Army, the Attorney General. Secretary of the Army was supposed, it, it's really a tragedy that they did not send the National Guard earlier. They were sort of afraid to act. Trump had so intimidated everybody, you could never tell him the truth, you could never go contradict him. Have some Peking duck, it's good. That's, it I'm is eating good. too much. There's a CNN poll that just came out that shows there's little appetite on both sides for a Biden-Trump rematch in 2024. Uh, you're stepping aside. Do you think President Biden should step aside for a younger generation? I think President Biden has done an excellent job as President of the United States. I hope that he does seek re-election. He's been a great and look president. look at what he's accomplished. You a think lot he of people, should run again? Yeah, he's done an excellent, excellent job and he runs, I'm gonna support him all the way. Right now, Donald Trump is the only Republican who has announced he could be the nominee. He could be president again. You've been through the first presidency. You've been through January 6th. What would it mean if Donald Trump was reelected president? I don't think it'll happen. The American people have gotten wise to him. Took a little while, but they did. I don't think that we should talk about him while we're eating. <laughs> See? <laughs> really? Well, Another Trump presidency? You call Donald Trump, quote, insane. I think there's a need for an intervention there by his family or somebody. You know, I don't think he's on the level now.